Hello, my name is Mike Poulin. I'm a certified financial trainer with The Financial Gym, a personal financial services company that works with clients to help them set financial goals and create a plan for accomplishing them. Educating individuals on personal finance has always been a passion of mine because of the positive impact that it can have on everyone's lives. I have always wanted to spread financial literacy with the mindset that everyone can achieve their goals in life with the right amount of financial knowledge. This all starts with changing one's perspective of money management through simplified explanation and open reflection of past financial influences. I am interested in helping others understand that finances can be fun and not stressful. Welcome to Fundamentals of Personal Money Management. This lesson is Making Smart Money Choices. In this lesson, we will learn how to put our new money management knowledge and skills into action by uncovering the factors that influence our financial decisions, setting realistic goals, and devising strategies to change our behavior. Before we can start making smart money choices, we need to understand the factors that influence how we think about money. Much of what we learn about managing our finances comes from our family and our community. What did your family teach you about money? Were your parents diligent savers who never splurged? Did they spend everything they had and take on debt? How did this affect you and the way that you view money? Similarly, our friends' financial habits affect our own financial behaviors. If your friends like to spend time together shopping or eating out, you're more likely to spend your time and money on those activities as well. Even national norms can influence us. If it seems normal to take on large amounts of student debt in your country, you might not think twice about whether taking on debt is the best decision for you. To uncover the hidden influences in your life, make a list of what you've learned about money from your family, friends, and wider community. Which of those lessons will lead to positive financial decisions? Which of those could negatively affect your finances? Setting financial goals can help us overcome negative influences and start making smart money decisions. If you don't know where to start, ask yourself, what's important to you? What do you want your life to look like in one year, five years, or 10 years? Make a list. Once you have ideas about what you'd like to achieve financially, you should turn each goal into a SMART goal. This means that your goal should be specific. It should be clearly defined. Measurable. You should have a way to evaluate your progress. Achievable. Do the math to calculate when you can realistically expect to achieve your goal. Relevant. Your goals should align with your values and what you want out of life. Time bound. You should be able to identify a target date for when you will achieve your goal. For example, earn more money is not a smart goal. Submit one job application per week to secure a position as a project manager for a nonprofit making $60,000 by the end of the year is a smart goal. Following these guidelines will put you in the best position to start taking action towards your goals, but you will likely need to change your financial habits and behaviors to achieve those goals. There are several strategies that we can use to modify behavior. Consider which of these strategies work best for the behaviors that you're trying to change. Monitoring. Keep track of behaviors that you do or don't want to do. Perhaps you've decided not to buy any new clothes for one month. To keep track of your progress and stay accountable, use a calendar to mark each day that you don't buy clothes. Start small. Behavior change takes time, and it's okay to start small. If you buy lunch every day during the week, but you want to cut back to save money, commit to making lunch at home one day per week. Once you get used to doing that, you can just add on another day. Automate. Set up systems that make the behavior you want to do easy, or ideally, automatic. If you want to ensure that you pay your credit card on time each month, set up auto pay so you don't even have to think about it. Pairing. Link a behavior that you already do to a behavior that you would like to do. If you want to start tracking your daily expenses, commit to doing it after something you do every day, like brushing your teeth. Rewards. Give yourself a financially healthy reward when you achieve a big goal. For example, after you reach a big savings goal, you could go out to dinner with a friend to celebrate. Keep your reward proportional to the goal you achieve. Community. As we already established, the people around us influence our behavior. You can use this to your advantage by surrounding yourself with other people who are already doing the things that you want to do or working towards similar goals. Remember that you are seeking progress, not perfection. Changing your behavior is not always easy, but ultimately it will lead you closer to your financial goals and the kind of life that you want to live. For more information on this course and to access related resources, visit our website.